Welcome to part number 43 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing all the hidden races in Stage 5. Luckily, the first one is literally down the street from the safe house. You just make a left on this street, and voila, it's right there. It's a circuit race. Sweet. See how this goes. And away we go, we're green. Yeah, back out of that. I don't want any involvement in that first lap, first crash accident. My start wasn't that good, honestly. Pretty slow off the line. And just behind the pace with these guys. Dumped his ass. <laughs> that Pojo just helped me out big time. I was most likely going to hit that car, but nope, he took the damage for me. You know, if anything, what we're probably going to do is we're probably just going to save enough money to use uh, the Skyline and tune that up and then use that for the second half of the hidden events, I think. No, probably not. I think the Skyline we'll use next time. We'll use it in the next video. But for this one, we'll just use the GTO all the way. Whoa. That would have been a good way to win the race if it was the last lap, but nope, it's a circuit race, first lap. Yeah, this race has just been kind of uneventful after that first lap where we fell back and then now it's kind of leading the pack comfortably. Did I hit the truck? Damn it, I did. Lost my multiplier for my nitrous. Still got the fastest lap, which gave us more boost.
Yep, just a very uneventful race. Not really much going on in terms of on-track activity. Liz Carby and Greg suck. And yet they have the balls to send me that message earlier like, Dog, you can't possibly beat me with that ride. It's like, well, shit. Look what I've been doing this whole time. Well, there you go. A very easy one. Only 200 points? But damn, do we get a lot of money for that. 4,000 bank. Okay. Well, the next um, hidden event is actually across the street from the paint shop. Oh, I might be up the street just a little bit. Inside this little hotel. Yep, there it is. Not a hotel, but it's something. Damn, that's kind of a complex... Uh, Circuit race, okay. And here we go. Oh, thanks for putting me in the wall, appreciate it. Damn. R34 try to collect me. Oh, and I got a near miss. Without even paying attention, nice. Oh, for some reason I thought we were going left. That's because I didn't pay any attention to the map. I was just following whatever the road told me to go. Fuck. Note to self, if there's not enough room, don't even try. Well, I had to use up all my nitrous to catch up to these guys. Because holy shit, was I losing a lot of ground. Uh, that didn't go as planned. I thought we were gonna, both going to stick together into the freeway, but I guess not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not over yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's where the finish line is. So if it was the final lap, we would have won. Okay. Okay, this time, I know we're going to the right, so right side we go. Okay, no wall, no wall riding this time, so perfect. That time we had space, and that time as well. Nice.
Now I hit that wall because in all the other races that I've done in this game that use that particular exit of the freeway, the game always spawned the car there. I didn't want to take the risk of slamming into a car. I'd rather hit the wall. This game actually gives you a lot of circuit races towards the end that are pretty long. Damn, look at those guys. Three white behind us. Oh yeah, we still have quite a bit of the race to go. Okay, well, that's something I never thought of. Throughout my entire playthrough, with that particular freeway entrance, you could just wall ride. And it would be just as fast, if not faster, than actually going on the inside line. Do a little spray show for the victory. Only 100 points for that win. GTI magazine cover. Sweet. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate it. Yeah, because, you know, a uh, Finnish photography company is definitely going to be, or magazine company is going to be at an illegal street race, right? You know, it makes a lot of sense. Anyways, the next uh, hidden event is actually here at the stadium. And, yep, it's a drift event, as I expected. Alright, here we go. The GTO is the king of drifting, and let's prove it. Actually, I don't know if this car is a king of drifting. The Audi A3 actually comes pretty close. Damn, this is actually kind of, actually, never mind. Okay, there we go. I was going to say that was close, but nope. I think the guy who was in second, he just managed to get ahead of everybody else and... Yeah. Hey, what's up, I with her? Okay, so the next hidden event is... 
There's four of them in Coal Harbor West. Okay, so according to the map, yep, there it is. A street cross race, cool. Damn, super aggressive. Everyone got super aggressive at that start. Yeah, once again, another easy ass street cross race. Hey Rishi, what's up, dude? This has just been really easy. I think stage five might be the easiest. Once you get all the extreme performance parts and you can tune the cars up to your liking, this gets really easy. There we go. Another easy win in the books. All right, let me make a quick thumbnail for this video and let's continue. Okay, so the next hidden event is right near the performance shop. Okay, it was a little bit farther than I thought, just a little bit. Well, we got taken out by a VW Golf while leading the race. Okay, we won. This time around, we won the race. There we go. First time every time. Okay, so there's another race that's right around the corner. I think it's in front of that Best Buy, actually. Or behind it. Might be at the gas station? Nice, dude. Uh, dude, I can't wait to play Most Wanted on the channel. It's coming soon, dude. <laughs> After the completion of, of uh, the completion of Underground Two, that's like the one Let's Play I'm looking forward to the most on the channel. Holy crap! What the hell is that? Is that a Corolla? That might be the ugliest Corolla I've ever seen in my life. Yes. <laughs> well, Most Wanted, I've beaten it, like, at least over ten times. Carbon, on the other hand, I beat it, like, four or five times. Not as many as Most Wanted, but I, s I still liked Carbon a lot. Carbon's gonna be interesting, though, because that is gonna be a game where when I LP it, I'm gonna be have to beat it twice in a row. And the reason why is because the way I look at it is, like, my first playthrough on the channel is gonna be... For fun, somebody spending a lot of money on cars and rice and my crew and that stuff. And then the second playthrough, well, it's going to be for all the completion. So like the 1 million credits and stuff, you know, all, all, all that goodness. Well, another easy win in the books for a street cross race. And... Big guns from Auto Motor are in the crowd. Let's see if you can catch their attention. Well, didn't I catch their attention by winning the race? Anyways. The last hidden event 
in, um, I want to say Carbon City, <laughs> Cole Harbor is this one. It's a sprint race. Oh, yeah. Undercover was a piece of shit, dude. Undercover was terrible. Without a doubt, that game was ass. Carbon is good, though. My only problem with Carbon, it's short. Like, my biggest problem with it is that it was short and it was obviously rushed. Like, when you have to reuse the same exact lines for the police and everything. The fuck do I say about Undercover? I say it sucks, Rishi. I'd rather play Desert Bus than fucking Undercover. Dude, the PS3 version I had as a teenager, it scarred me for the rest of my life with its horrible frame rate and long load times. That stuff changes your life, man. It scars you, dude. And it's nonsensical story. You thought Underground 2 story was nonsensical? Hell no. Undercover is even worse. I probably like Rivals? Fuck no. <laughs> I hate new Need for Speed. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of uh, Need for Speed The Run. That's like the best Need for Speed ever made. You know. All cult classic. Road Rash. Dude, Ro Road Rash is fun, at least. Undercover is not fun. Although Arthur says that the um, PS2 version isn't that bad. Although, just like in the ESTRL um, Discord, we have that emoji that says Arthur sucks. And yeah, if he does suck, then that means he can't be trusted with such an opinion, I guess. Alright, well, that takes care of all of the Cole Harbor hidden events. And City Center. So the next set of ones are actually one in Beacon Hill, the rest of them in Jackson Heights. And the reason why I selected the paint shop on the GPS is because it's literally around the corner from there. Okay, so... We took our high-powered, not weeb car, we took our high-powered American Muscle over here to this hotel thingy. Alright, well, I was dominating early on. Third attempt. Traffic got in the way. And so, I couldn't win. Third time's the charm, maybe? Yes, you do. And even then, it doesn't work sometimes. Bam! <laughs> if any, enough people show interest, well, I can definitely ask around, dude. I I seriously would like to get that all, you know, help you out with that, dude. That would be amazing. Honestly, like, that sounds like such a fun event. Seriously. Okay. So there's two more hidden events in all of Stage 5. Both of them are in Jackson Heights. One's to the east and one's to the west. So we're going to head to the east first and do that one. I'll see you over there. So here we are. Ooh, drifting in Jackson Heights. Yes. Oh, not yet? Well, technically, I mean... Yeah, that's something I can do. And the reason why is because it's like, look, I participated in round one and Lamar. I won round one. I was the first ever winner in TRS. So therefore, I deserve to be in the class photo. Damn, look at you. <laughs> I wish I could be have your skill, dude. Shit.
I wish I could suck. I wish I could be a pleb and just make every single race, you know? But no, I can't. Because I have stuff to do. No, I'm kidding. Um, Dude, honestly, I don't even know if I would have won. Racing against Apollo is unfair. <laughs> Why? Well, it's like every single time I get near him, I always get around him. It's like if he, you know, somehow is slower traffic and lets me by. I don't know. Oh, we won. Oh, you didn't make every single race? Oh. Le Mans, Interlagos, and Suzuka? I thought you made uh, Le Mans. I thought I saw you there. Okay, there's one more hidden event in all of Stage 5. And like I said, it's on the west side of Jackson Heights at the Observatory. Let's go there. Alright, so it wasn't at the Observatory. It was at this chapel thingamabob. Please don't take me to Jackson Heights. Oh, uh, okay. It's only that small section. You're, you're to spinning as I am to running out of fuel. Okay, well, I lost. That's it. Just lost. Miserable loss. Let's go for the win in our second attempt. Did I manage to see any of the Bathurst uh, race? No, I have not. I just sent Rhino a well wish. That's it. I sent him some bits and I told him good luck. And that was about the extent of that because I was watching the NASCAR Xfinity race on TV. Oh, are you? <laughs> Damn. What happened during the Bathurst race, by the way? Enlighten me. Shit, 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 shit. That's what I get for reading chat instead of looking at the race. Oh, an intense battle with Belvika? Nice. Who won? You clipped the wall at the end? Oof. So Belvika won in that case? The good old shortcut through the fountain. Damn. I gotta check out that battle then. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, Rishi. That must be horrible. Not that I would know anything about being lonely or anything, but hey. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man, I'm gonna win! Maybe, 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 maybe. Hey, 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 CK, you know what? I'll stop wall riding when the game stops rubber banding, which will be never, and so I'll never stop wall riding. You think your POV is still on Twitch? I mean, it's only been, what, a few days? Literally like two days since the race. So it should be up. I mean, the archives stay up for like 14 days, I believe. Only one more corner to go. Alright, we win. Sweet. Okay, so that is every single hidden event in Stage 5 and hidden events in general for the game. Back up to 40,000, which is nice. So, next time on Need for Speed Underground 2, we're going to unleash the beast. Finish tuning up um, our project car, which for those who haven't seen it on the previous stream, I'm not going to say anything just yet. 
For those who watch the stream and the video, you'll know what it is. And do some more regular events in Bayview. That's it. 